Today we'll be doing some dynamic warm-ups. We'll start the, the use these right before our, uh, any physical activity of exercising and get us in preparation for speed and agility work. So starting off, we're going to start off with knee tucks. Uh, ready? Begin. So as he does his knee tucks, he makes sure he stays nice and upright. He's keeping his toe flexed. We always want to make sure we're keeping our toe flexed just for preparation purposes. Because when we do speed work, we always want to make sure our toes flex as we're coming down to apply force. As you see, he's lifting his leg up. He's keeping his body nice and upright. He's squeezing his glute of the opposite leg that he's grabbing. So in this case, he'll be squeezing his right glute as he picks up his left leg. And he's pushing his hips forward slightly to get a deeper stretch into his hip flexor. And this is helping him activate his glutes, hip flexors to become a little bit more explosive when we're doing our acceleration exercises. And normally we go about 10 yards down and back. For the purposes of the video, we're just going to go down one way. For the next exercise, we'll do glute tucks. This is going to help strength, uh, stretch out the outer part of his hips and glutes. All right, ready? Begin. And as he does it, he makes sure, once again, always keeps himself nice and upright. He's practice, practicing abdominal bracing. He's not letting his leg just flop, flop down or go through the motions. He's letting it come down nice and controlled. That's how I know he's bracing his core. So when he picks his leg up, make sure his knee doesn't go higher than his hip. He gives a quick twist by putting his one hand on the knee, pushing that down, and lift his ankle up simultaneously to get a good stretch in the outer part of his hip. And once again, you want to link your breathing with your movements. Very important. Nice deep breath. Inhale, exhale. So next we're going to do our toe touches. For this particular exercise, we'll go down and back. Normally when you do this, you'll pick one leg. So we'll start off with his right leg. He's going down all the way with his right leg, and we'll come all the way back with his left. All right, ready? begin. And for his toe touch, he keeps his one knee bent, his left knee bent the whole way. He takes a step, reach down, keeps his right toe at an angle, and he reaches down pretty quickly. We want to make sure his hamstrings are firing and ready to go as when you're sprinting. Because when you're sprinting, you're twisting, your, uh, you're speeding up your movements and your muscles are firing quickly. So we'll make sure we practice that in the dynamic warm-ups by actually reaching down quickly and firing teach them how to fire as we would when we're doing our exercises. So he's coming back, he's switching his, to his left leg. Good, he's keeping his back straight, doing a good job, keeping his knee bent, reaching down, real, real good range of motion, and reaching with both hands. Exhales, he goes down, inhales, he goes up. Once again, he's sinking his breathing, with his movements, most efficient way of, of moving. All right, next we're doing our quad pulls. Ready? Begin. Here we're trying to loosen up our hip flexors and quads with a good stretch. He's alternating, taking a step, pulling his hip back. He's making sure he's squeezing the glute of the opposite leg. And he's keeping his abdominals brace the body nice and upright. He, as he pulls his leg back, he's not leaning forward. Once you lean forward and do this exercise, you're not getting a stretch. You're keeping your body in the same motion. He's actually going for a good stretch by lift, pulling it back. And this is what you need in order to become fast and explosive. You need that hip extension. So next we're going to do lateral shuffles. So we're going to help stretch out his adductors, the growing muscles, which are generally tight in a lot of athletes and will reduce your speed greatly and also the lateral stability. All right, so we're going to get started. Ready? Begin. He's keeping his chest up, reaching, reaching down side to side, hop in the middle, making sure his knees are over his toes, both toes straight ahead, chest up. I'm going to go to the side view because as he sinks his hips, he's going to make sure that he's using his butt to, to uh, help slow him down and keeping his focus on keeping his chest up. You want to resist leaning forward. 
you will embrace your abdominals and keep yourself upright. Once again, linking the breathing with the movement. As you see, still knee over the toe, knee over toe shoulder, both toes straight ahead. All right, next what we're going to do is a lunge twist. It will be strengthening our hip flexors and also our, stretching our quads. And we want to make sure we're stretching, twisting to the side of the leg that's in front of us that we're lunging with. Ready? Begin. Let's keep arms up, chest height. Twist. As you take your step, brace, drop down, control, twist. Make sure you're squeezing that glute, control, as you're coming down, twisting, keeping your chest nice and upright. Lunge down, step, twist. This is often a difficult exercise. Sometimes we will progress and start with a regular lunge. Good. All right, now we're going to start with a little bit more fast moving dynamic warm-ups to really prepare our body for exercise. So now we're starting off with high knees. We're not really work, focused on so much speed. We're worried about the knee lift and drive and activating the glutes. So we're going to Greg, get started. Ready? Begin. Good arm movement. Keeping body nice and upright. And his toes are flexed. Good. And like I said before, normally we do down and back 10 yards. For the purpose of this video, we're just doing one way. So that we did so next we're going to go to butt kickers. When we do these butt kickers, he's going to make sure his heels is, gets to his butt quickly and we're not flipping his, up, his legs up like we do, do the traditional. Ready? Begin. So good heel to his butt, good motion. At the butt kickers, now we're going to do lateral shuffles. Same thing, keeping his chest up, sink the hips. Ready? Begin. As you notice, he's stepping out. Make sure the heels don't get too close to the toes. It's just like a baseball player taking a lead. You want to take a big step and a little step. Next, we're going to do karaoke. Ready? Begin. He's getting his knee up and over, twisting, bracing his core. We tend to go a little bit further when we do karaoke. Just to get a little bit extra reps in. We'll do the same side coming, different side coming back. Ready? Begin. Up and over, good twist, good range of motion. And there you have it. That's the next level of athletic fitnesses, dynamic warm-ups, and preparation for our speed agility training.